This is a sneak peek at our Crack Key Hydroponics that we have growing inside. We have some romaine lettuce, some different types of tomatoes for the fall, and a pepper that I have no idea what it is. So we are going to take these up to our other property and put them in 55 gallon drums. It is a little bright out here. Uh, we are at our off-grid property, site of the future barn, and we are going to be mixing our fertilizer for the cracky barrels. We have some 55 gallon drums that I'll show you, and we are going to mix all of the fertilizer today for these 55 gallon drums. So the first thing we need is the Master Blend Formula. Uh, you can purchase this online and I believe also on Etsy. There's a bunch of different uh, hydroponics growers that sell it. Uh, we bought ours on Amazon and I do have an affiliate link uh, on my website as well for that. So since we're doing 55 gallon buckets, uh, we are actually going to equate it to about 50 gallons of fertilizer for these tomatoes over here. And so that would uh, make it a half a cup. Since everything is in grams that we found, uh, we need to pour out a half a cup of the Master Blend formula per 55 gallon drum. So we'll pour that in our bucket. The next thing, and we're just gonna add a little bit of water here just to kind of mix it up. So as we add our other fertilizers, we're not causing a chemical reaction. We do have to add Epsom salt and calcium nitrate. And they actually say the next step is to add the Epsom salt. So next we have our Epsom salt. This you can buy at any store. I think we got it at Walmart because that is the closest thing uh, to us, which is about an hour away. Uh, so this is some fine um, Epsom salt, like fine grade Epsom salt. And we need about a quarter cup of the Epsom salt. the calcium nitrate. I know on Amazon you can buy the Master Blend and the calcium nitrate separately or you can buy them as a pack. These are very small bags. Uh, these are one pound each. So they will last uh, a little while. I can probably get a couple drums out of them but if you're going to be doing a lot of drums which we probably will but this was a test for us uh, then you will probably want to buy the five pound bags, which you get a better price on. So we're going to add the calcium nitrate, little pebbles to our, our mix. We're just trying to pre-mix everything, and then we're going to dump it all in a 55 gallon drum. We also need to get some supports for our tomatoes. Um, these actually came from Farmer Joe's, which I have their bag behind me here. Uh, this is a lakeside tomato, which is a really good paste tomato. It came out last year, uh, it was good for making sauce. So uh, what we did was take some seeds from it. There's hardly any seeds in that tomato. And we were able to 
uh, grow some of the tomatoes via the cracky method. Uh, but I am going to have to get build some sort of supports on the 55 gallon drum for this one. The other tomato we have here is the lakeside tomato. These got really big in our crack key uh, mason jars here. So they are drooping a little. We'll have to build some supports for this one as well. Uh, but these also came from Farmer Joe's and we took some seeds. This one has a lot of seeds. Uh, it is sort of a purple tomato. So it has a really rich color. It is probably more of like a beefsteak kind of tomato, but we did put it in our sauce and it tasted great. So we're gonna try to do a bunch of these this season as well. All right, we're over here at our barrels. So we got these dumpster diving outside of my actual work. Uh, there's a medical facility that throws them out. Their only thing that's ever been in them is uh, water, pure water, for uh, dialysis machines. So since they were throwing them away, we're going to reuse them and put them to use here, making some cracky barrels. It's going to take forever for these barrels to fill because, again, we're on well water here. Uh, everything is off grid, so, you know, we have to use gas pumps and things to make the well run. Uh, we actually have big storage tanks for water, and that's what I'm pulling from right now, but I'm probably going to drain the tank quite a bit, so we'll have to turn the uh, pump on later today. Uh, so as you can see here, I've got our handy little redneck makeshift uh, trellis for the tomatoes. Uh, we had chicken wire left over. This is hardware cloth. I call it the same thing. Uh, this is half inch. We actually use this for the quail that we used to have. Um, I don't ever recommend getting those. Uh, I found these when I was looking in the uh, solar shed. I don't know what the heck we bought them for, but they fit perfectly in these little net cups. Uh, these net cups we get at our local hydroponics store. They also have them on Amazon. I think they're $12, but I only pay $4 at the hydroponics store, so I buy them from there. Plus, they're a local business, so you know you always want to support your local businesses. Um, but these little couplings. They fit really nice, so it gives the tomato some added support. But we built the trellis too, because it's going to be a month before we're back here again. And we want to make sure that uh, they have somewhere to go, because apparently these are indeterminate, so they're going to spread. They're probably going to cascade over all over which way. Uh, we also have our little handy plant clips. Thanks to the dollar store, we have uh, a ton of these. Whenever they get their spring, summer stuff, you always want to go in and check it out at the dollar store. I'm very cheap, as everyone says, or thrifty. Uh, so <laughs> you can get a lot of great stuff at the dollar store for gardening uh, and their seeds. While they don't look all that great, you know, the pictures on the seeds, I've had the best luck growing uh, everything that I've grown, the peppers, everything that I bought from the dollar store sprouts right up. So we are gonna use these little ones to kind of hold the uh, peppers in place. I don't know if you can see those there. Get a little closer. These are great for clipping onto trellises or uh, whatever you might find. So, and at a buck or buck 25 now because you know, inflation, thank you uh, JB. Uh, we now have a way to support our tomatoes. Take our little funnel, shove it in there. I found a stirrer, so I was able to stir up the nutrients. They're not great, but you know, when you're off grid, you uh, you make with what you can find. And I think this came on our passion fruit vine. It's just a little trellis holder. I don't really throw a whole lot away. 
I can thank my grandparents for that. They grew up in the recession and they saved everything. This is not going to be a pretty pour. Out. As you can see, uh, the line is down here, so it is time to move these into a bigger barrel. I'm going to add more water before I actually move them, but because there's so much sun, look at the roots. So it's got some really nice roots, and it's just going to pop in there like that. Once it doesn't want to pop, and then we'll actually attach these two little tomatoes the trellis. Still some nutrients in this jar. I'm actually going to take it and dump it over in our field garden, uh, probably with the seminal pumpkins so we can get them a little bigger. They, are, they like a lot of nutrients, that's why they're in the ground, uh, and we're hoping to get some pumpkins. Although, looking at them, I don't think we're going to have any pumpkins by uh, Halloween here. So. It's okay because we're going to be at the pumpkin patch on 31 Produce selling our freeze-dried candy. So we hope to see you there.